Hello! Hi, I'm Remix. Everyone, welcome back to Undertale. And, uh, hey, look at that. Undyne, she's finally there. Alright, we're continuing on. We're finally at the capital of the underground. We're on our way to meet King Asgore Dreamer himself. The end is nigh, folks. At least the end for the neutral ending. Not working. Doesn't this place seem oddly familiar to you? It's rather pretty, isn't it? This, however, not so much. Not even a dialogue, just straight up save. And heal. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. I love this track, by the way. No surprises there, I guess. Fridge is full of unopened containers and snails. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. How do you help yourself to anything you want? And I'll help myself to this key. Great reading chair, but doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Flower. Knife. Still like the ones I have. I'm a, I'm a kitchen guy. Let's get the best of our best for this one. Time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Why are pe why are monsters showing up and giving me all this plot exposition? Just like back in Waterfall, where there's just random signs on the wall for me to read. Took the key.
nice day today. No snuzzle champs. Clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit wetter, sweater that says Mr. Dead Guy. A burrow. Nice. <coughs> so the King Santa. Noise. He truly loves his. the people. Whatever the proper, more fantastical word for it is. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day. The human died. Asriel, wrath with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Must, be a, must have been a scary sight. As we have reached the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But did he do it? But Asriel did not fight back. I thought you were only supposed to say stuff clutching the human. Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. Give us hope. Save us all. You should be smiling too! Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Frog it. You're going to be free. Fast travel back. Oh boy! PTSD room. Wow. 
Yo, Sans. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What is EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt, the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Uh. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. Well, that's... I just wanted to go home. I came down here on accident. And now, uh, suddenly, I'm an important plot point that'll determine the history of now and forever? If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thanks, I guess. Here we go, baby. Fa it's the final boss of the neutral run. Are you ready? This will be the hardest challenge yet. But I have no doubt in my mind that after all the adventures we've been through, all the people we've faced so far, all the challenges we've successfully overcome, there's no doubt that with enough determination, you too will be able to do this just fine. So let's not waste any time. The throne room is up ahead, which is why we're not going there first. First, we go to the staircase so we can see our grave along with everyone else's. Yup, lovely. They prepared the grave, they prepared a coffin for us before ahead of time. How thoughtful of them, am I right? I am sure looking forward. Hum need hum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. <coughs> I imagine him having like Kratos' voice. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. 
It's a little hard. I can I can make my voice go high pitch, but when lowering in pitch, that's when I start to struggle. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Does it have to be though? Hey now, answer my question. Nice day today, huh? You're answering my question with another question. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. This is it, I guess. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Okay. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Can anyone ever really be? All we can do is try. And hope that is enough. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. <coughs> if, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. This is our chance to go back and do everything else we need in order to do to get the true pacifist ending. Because, trust me, you need to be able to do those stuff. Our social links are far from maxed out on, uh, with all the characters. That's a Persona reference. But uh, yeah, just like Persona 5. <laughs> you gotta max out everyone's uh, so, uh, social links before you can even get the true ending. A nearly impossible feat without a walkthrough, might I add. But for now, we're not here for that ending. We're just here for the nightmare. I see. This is it then. <sighs> I struggled with you last time, but now I am a Toho bullet hell dodging master who's played countless other bullet hell shmups. Cuphead, Toho, Danmaku Unlimited, Bullet Hell Monday, and many more probably, I think. Ready? Oh boy, that casket'll soon have my soul in it. Do, do, do. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. I'm gonna spare the living crap out of you, Asgore. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Well! Ah, uh, so much for that idea. What do we do now? Oh god, same it's you're the same type of monster as Toriel. Oh wow, you really are the same type of monster as Toriel. I don't want to fight you. We don't have to do this. Oh wow, those curving flames. God damn it. The bane of my existence. Curving lasers. Anyway, this is the only way. We're fighting him. There's no way past it. Da -da 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 -dun, da -da 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 -dun. 
No, not even any banter from him. Both of us are just very determined to fight to kill each other as best as we can. Although both of our determinations are somewhat faulty, maybe. A master of fire magic as well. Much like Toriel, but unlike her, she's not holding he's not holding back. It seems so much easier. The bullets seem so much slower. Wow, it's either I've improved or this game has always just been so easy. Or the patches has changed things somehow. Throughout the years, Toby has nerfed some of the bullet patterns to be easier. I don't know. I will never really know. What? Damn it! Damn it! Oh! Ow, damn it. I kind of fucked up a little and left myself no way to dodge that. Damn it. A frame too late, I'd say. It's a somewhat sad and tragic fight, rather than one filled with epicness. Just the way a fight should be, because that's how most uh, fights aren't usually supposed to be epic and needlessly flashy. People fight for sad reasons. Both Sophia and Asgore during this fight are both reluctant at killing each other. Yet, because they fought, there's no other way. They're fighting each other anyways. Because there's no other way. Despite them wishing it to be so. Yeah, they get faster and faster as, and you get stronger and stronger. I should have known this. Blue, orange, blue, orange. Damn it. He's getting way faster at that too. Na 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 what how did that happen I, I was not moving for a single frame, and that was all it took. Damn. Na -na. Wow! That was suddenly a lot of damage all at once. Oh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, 
I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Killing you would set me free. And it would end this. You would die. Your death would let me be free. And I would be able to live the rest of my life normally once again. I can finally get out of this hellhole and return to my normal life. However, that is short-sighted. Sure, if I killed you, I would be free. But what would happen to the... Uh, what of the consequences? Your death would have rippling effects. It would cost not just my freedom. It would come at a great cost. So, uh, needless to say, I ain't here to do that. There's another way. Surely there must. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Oh no! Oh! No! No! You bastard! You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. Game force closed, or as the people like to call it, it crashed. Although technically it just closed. Uh, well, that was an ending. So uh, tune in next episode for the uh, uh, the boo. I'm just kidding, but I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had myself some instant noodles. Speaking of instant noodles, I never got to use that thing. Using it is actually really funny. I should show it sometime, but uh, not right now actually, cause uh, long ago, uh, that looks a little d odd and different. Oh no! <coughs> hey, Flowey, my world, continue. Oh no! My nine hours of gameplay! How dare you! You son of a bitch! Oh my god! Howdy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really need a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. 
But now is your help. He's dead. And I've got the human souls. Well, shit. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mm, I can feel them wriggling. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. You sicko. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? You're approaching me? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh boy, get ready, cause we're going all Mitsubachi up in here. Wait, uh, Mushihime-sama up in here. So this is Flowey. His boss fight. Night, absolute nightmare fuel. This shit is so bullshit, sometimes he just decides that you die. Like literally, sometimes the bullet pattern is its so RNG heavy and sometimes the attack patterns are literally undodgeable. It's up to it's up to Flowey, to Flowey's whims if you die or not. Holy shit! Forget about healing, by the way. Oh god! Wow! God damn it. Who cares? The damages are cheating uh, in the in this boss fight. It'll take way too many hits for you to actually die in this boss fight in particular. It's very lenient and it cheats so that you can enjoy the nightmare. And also like I said because the RNG of this fight is bullshit. Rather than fixing it, Toby just allowed it. Because it fits with the theme, you know? That this is sort of bullshit, this entire thing. All of it. Mm, don't worry about the hitbox of the hands, they're actually smaller than you think. Oops, too early. Uh, that's not me save stating and say and, and by the way, that's actually Flowey. That's not me. He literally cheating to make sure I have the worst possible time. He has three saves. He saves stating and save loading on two and three for some reason. I don't know why. Damn it. I know how to dodge some of the attacks, but they're just way too or there's just way too much RNG for this to be feasibly. At least for someone like me. 
of my skill level. Alright, what's this attack? Oh, right, this. My screen's a little too bright. Ugh. Heals. Well, that wasn't much, but it's helpful. Thanks. Yep, I knew it. Damn it, I still fucked it up anyway. You just gotta predict his save and loads, which is easier said than done because they're literally made to be unpredictable. I mean, if I could save and load state, you know, as a standability, I would make it as unpredictable as possible. Why over there? Oh no! Well, that was some very good RNG. Ow, damn! Wow, your aim's shit! Ow. Again, your aim is shit. Oh my god! Thank god. That was the last one, at least. Give me power! Yes! You made a grave mistake if you thought this would be enough to do me in. I have the power of anime and god and friendship on my side. Oh yeah, how's that feel? Your attacks are weakening now. They're much slower and less dense. And now look at my damage in comparison. Eat shit. I don't care if this is if I'm supposed to be a pacifist. You're not worthy of such mercy. You're not worthy of any mercy. Damn it. My HB is literally getting in my way of dodging. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Damn it. I hate that attack so much, it's so unpredictable. I hate bouncing bullets. Right next to goddamn curvy lasers. It is a lot of fun though, I gotta admit. I love this fight a lot, it actually makes me feel like I'm playing an actual bullet hell now. Rather than the easy peasy shit. Woo! I wasn't even paying attention to the health, I was just dodging. No! No! This can't be happening! You! You! You idiot! Oof. Ow. Ooh. 
Let me out! Did you really think? You, uh... We just stop <laughs> Anyway, you! You are hopeless! Hopeless and alone! Golly, that's right! You're worthless friends! Can't save you now! Call for help, I dare you! Cry into the darkness! Mommy! Daddy! Somebody help! See what good it does you! Yamiro Tasukete! But nobody came! Boy, what a shame! Nobody else is gonna get to see you die! I can dodge. Never mind. Yo. What? How did you? Well, I'll just... Ha! Bitch! Uh, where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! 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 What? Nice. Mom was complaining that I was speaking too loud. Oops. Anyway, yo, what up? Look at you go. I did say you're wor you weren't worthy of any mercy, but, uh... Seeing you, I, uh... Sometimes, there are worse- there are fates worse than death. And I believe this is one of them. Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. I, I doubt you've learned anything, but it's fun seeing you suffer rather than killing you right now. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. Nah. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. Yeah, you will. I'll kill everyone you love. Your words are as empty as your soul. What is a man? Uh, nothing but a filthy, miserable pile of lies. But enough talk. Have at ye. <laughs> Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Uh, yeah, that's totally what I'm doing. I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. How does the flower run away? They had no they have no legs, but okay. Eat it, bitch. I'm out of here. Four LTV, what? Damn, Toby Fox. Professional translators. 
Hey, yeah. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be not treated as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. But Nine is helping too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alfie's likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Yeah. Please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now, but he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Quinn's new school. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Holy shit! I don't think that's what teachers are supposed to be doing. Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. Boy, if only you guys knew what exactly truly happened there. It's not your fault, he. Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it! Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alfie's doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can't get but she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Boy, if only you knew what was actually turmoiling her. Uh, and we're gonna figure that out next part. So, uh, no point in spoiling it. Because I'm pretty sure everyone else already knows it anyway. This game's been spoiled to death. Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get here, there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second! Toriel! Toriel! Do you wanna? Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back anytime, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye bye for now. See ya, punk. Yo. Why? Why did you let me go? 
Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I knew some way to get you a better ending. You'll have to load your save file and you deleted it. Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alfie's? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? I doubt it. If she did, what has the world gotten into? See you soon! So, that was the neutral ending. Obviously, this is not yet the final part. Uh, doing this is just sort of a formality at this point since uh, this seems to be the proper way to experience most of Undertale anyway, at least in my opinion. And for the walkthrough's sake, I believe this is the best way to do it too, I guess. So, uh, in the next, uh, this was a shorter episode than most, probably the shortest one so far, but uh, yeah, the next part will will continue and get that true pacifist ending this time because that time was just the neutral route uh, unless you become really good friends and exhaust all of the possible available dialogue with all of the major characters you will be forced to kill Asgore one way or another whether it was by your hands or by Flowey's so uh, uh, becoming good friends will help you from not killing anyone uh, that was what we lacked. We lacked enough friendship power, so all that shit happened instead. So, uh, this has been Undertale. I have been Remix the Idiot. Thank you so much for watching, and, uh, see you next time. <laughs>